Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to take apart and check the rear brakes. And the subject vehicle is this 1997 Pontiac Sunfire. Uh, this procedure will be the same for just about any 1982 to 05 Sunfire, Cavalier, or Sunbird, and really very similar for any vehicle that has drum rear brakes. The uh, tools you'll need are 19 millimeter socket and ratchet or a lug wrench to remove the tire, um, jack and jack stands, pliers, and a flat blade screwdriver, uh, and this is pretty much what you need for any vehicle. You're going to want to raise the car, secure it, and remove the rear wheel. <laughs> Okay, once you have the rear wheel off, to, to inspect the uh, rear brakes, or to inspect the drum brakes, you pull the drum off, and uh, that came off pretty easy. It's not always going to come off that easy, easily. So here's your typical drum brake setup. So here you have your shoes, okay, and this right up here is the wheel cylinder. Okay, and you can see that there's a plunger pushing on the shoe. So basically when you press your brakes, the wheel cylinder pushes those plungers out, which pushes the shoes out and contacts the drum as it goes around. Okay, you can see a little um, L coming down here. This is um, the automatic adjuster. Okay, so what happens is when you press your brakes, okay, the shoes come out um, and this uh, rod actually causes uh, this to pull up on the adjuster and it just slowly moves your shoes out. Okay, so basically this is an adjusting rod here um, and the shoes are basically just held on here by a couple of pins here, these two pins and then these springs. Okay, on Drum brakes, when you talk about you know, how good are the brakes, you're talking about basically the width or how much life is left on these brake shoes. And as you can see, uh, there's about, um, I'd say about a little over an eighth of an inch, okay, all the way around. And actually, it does have something of wear indicators. These are rivets, and once the shoes wear down, those will start hitting against the drum and making the squeaking noise. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of life left in these. Now, I would consider these brakes okay. Um, definitely want to check them probably another 5,000 miles because um, they don't have a whole lot of life left in them. Um, but I'm going to show you how to take them apart. The best advice I can give you for taking these apart is just do them one side at a time. If you keep the other side together, you'll be able to see how they, they come apart and they go back together. So, basically hook your vice grips onto a spring, and pull the spring off. And normally I'd use a different set of pliers, but you basically get your pliers on here, push, turn and these release and the stud comes out. Okay, same thing over here. Okay. Let's take a screwdriver and pry off the adjuster lever. here and now basically all that you have holding it together is this pin here which is attached on the back side by a clip 
and kind of just drive that clip off um, with your screwdriver. Just kind of watch it because it will usually go flying. And if you don't have a new set of hardware, you don't want to keep track of it. And now your shoes are off. And when you put your new shoes on, you'll want to have this um, adjuster all the way in so it's as short as possible. Okay, this piece here, this is your emergency brake lever. Okay, so when you pull the emergency brake, um, basically there's a cable down here. It pulls on this and just kind of wedges itself um, against the shoes and pushes the shoes out. Now to put the brakes back together, okay, this is actually the back side of the brakes. I put this pin through, and this is your emergency brake lever. Okay, and then push this little C clamp on. This lever goes in. Okay, so now put that lever in. Okay. Take your, lev your emergency brake lever, hook it into your cable, and put that down and in. Okay. And then put those kind of together like that. Next is your adjuster lever. Put that on there. And put this uh, kind of cone shaped spring right in under. And you want to hook this um, lever in behind there. Pull down on that lever. Push it on there. So you take it and you load it up into your pliers. Put the pin in the back here. Get it coming through. Okay, and twist it on. And same thing for the other side. Load it up. Put the pin through. Okay. And these two springs are basically the same. Okay. Okay, this one went on first. And hooking onto this very edge up here is how we got it off. And these are the same springs, so it doesn't matter which one's in which position. Okay. So, brakes are together. This is a little brake parts cleaner. You can also use mineral spirits. You just want to make sure you get all any finger oil or anything off the brakes. Okay. And then difficult here because the brakes I think have kind of separated a little bit. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.